What is going on everybody? Edo here with another video. Got some G.I. Joe figures that I want to share with you guys that I picked up in the past couple weeks. Uh, got some stuff from BBTS, Ollie's, and Hasbro Pros. Uh, so from Big Bad Toy Store, got Outback, um, Bazooka, box art on this looks dope as hell. Uh, picked up the Rock and Roll. You know, you gotta get the Rock and Roll. And then I got Torpedo. So that's gonna look good with the Cobra Eels. Um, I also got Carperhead. So Carperhead looks pretty dope. Um, also, and the last figure I got from uh, BBTS is the Crimson Guard. Needed uh, another one, so this is the second one I got. Uh, I can't wait for that. Um, I think that's gonna be a PulseCon exclusive. Of Baroness and the twins, so um, definitely gonna pick that up. And it's gonna look good with the Crimson Guard and the Crimson Bats and all that sh shit that we're getting. Um, but at Ollie's, I ended up getting the um, Snake Eyes movie figures, so here's Baroness. Um, they didn't have any of the Crimson Guard. I know some people are finding them at their Ollie's, but this is the only ones I found. Um, got, what's, this, what's her name? Aki, Akiko? At her and I wasn't gonna pick these up honestly um, in retail uh, but since they're at Ollie's and five dollars I can't really resist so just round out the collection here's Scarlet and then finally the last two snake eyes snake eyes looks actually cool I do like um, you can't really mess up snake eyes so it's pretty a basic figure just all black but I mean his tooling and everything like that looks really good and then last but not least, uh, Storm Shadow. So found these at all these. I'm definitely gonna go back and see if they have those any more Crimson Guard. Um, you know, you can't go wrong. You know, they be always be like kind of lightweight, you know, coming out with some hitters out there. I know there's a lot of I just didn't expect, you know, no one really expected the Crimson Guard uh, to go into like clearance stores like that. So it's pretty surprising. Um Last but not least, uh, I did get the Trouble Bubble. This came in today. Looking pretty dope. Uh, I had to get two of them, so here's the second one. I just don't have the freaking space to actually put these in, in frame. Um, I might do a video on just opening this up, uh, just seeing how it you know really is, and maybe you know make a flight stand for it. Um, I don't know if this does come with a flight stand. I don't think it does, but it would have been nice to get a flight stand in this. Uh, but I know I'm sure somebody will come out with one, maybe 3D print one or something like that. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for the haul. Um, I do got a couple more figures over here, but just I don't want to make a long video. It's just wanted to do the GI Joe and focus on the GI Joe stuff. So, um, oh, I did also get the uh, Valkyrie uh, two pack that came to so it's over there it's already on the shelf but other than that guys that's pretty much it and so next time i'll talk to y'all later